Today we'll be creating this panther with black polymer clay. This will be a freestanding sculpture with no base and it has a relatively simple armature. It's going to be a lot of fun this project, so let's get into it. First we print out the outline and armature placement guide. For the first part of the armature, we use the trusty old wire coat hanger. This part is for the front arms and runs up to the head. The bottom part is bent at right angles and the corners can be bound together with tie wire. The body can then be packed out with aluminium foil and banged into shape to compact it. Once that's done, we can bind it with clear tape to keep it all together. From here we can bind the shape onto the wire part of the armature with tie wire. Stay inspired and don't miss a video from us. Subscribe and leave a comment below with what you'd like us to create next. We'd love to hear from you. We decided to add another piece of wire to support the head and pack it out with compressed aluminium foil and then bound it with clear tape. A note of caution when building the armature, make sure it is well inside the intended outside profile lines of the plans. We are using quite a bit of clay in this project, so to condition it we are using a clay press. Although polymer clay can be conditioned by hand, with a press it's much faster. To sculpt our project, we are using a dinner plate as a base. If you are going to try this sculpture, just make sure the plate is oven safe. Once our clay is conditioned, we basically have to cover the armature in a 6mm or 1 quarter of an inch layer. We start by ensuring the front wire part of the armature is well covered with a consistent layer of clay. Then just keep working around the armature, ensuring that there is no pockets of air lying between the armature and the clay. Have you created one of our projects? Make sure you send us a photo, we love seeing your creations. This is the first stage, we can now bake the armature for one hour at 130 degrees Celsius and that's 266 degrees Fahrenheit for our American friends. Once the sculpture is removed from the oven and cooled, the armature of the tail can be created by pressing a shaped length of coat hanger wire into the appropriate area. Clay can then be packed around the tail armature and it can be carved to shape. Clay can then be applied over the body and the underside. Use sheets of clay for this and blend the edges smooth. If you like this project, we've got loads more on our website. Jump online to check out our Create blog and sign up with Creative Connection to get lessons, inspo tips and more sent directly to your inbox. Staying inspired doesn't have to cost a cent. It's good to get the head out of the way as it can take some time to get right. First some clay is tightly packed over the armature, then the profile of the forehead, muzzle and mouth can be cut to shape. From the top of the eyebrows are cut down to the nose. The cheeks can then be removed with an angled cut and the eye sockets can be carefully removed. There is always a lot of refining with heads so just keep working on it until it looks right. We can then apply the ears. Our panther is in the crouched position and the legs are curled up tight against the body. To create the legs we can apply a disc shape 
to the body and apply the bottom part of the leg to this disc and blend it in. The leg can then be cut in and extra clay can be added to the back part of the leg to create the muscle. A thin tube of clay can then be placed between the leg and the body and blended in. The sculpture can now receive its final baking. This time it is baked for an hour and a half at 130 degrees Celsius and voila. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you got something from this. Polymer clay is a wonderful medium and what you can create with it is only limited by your imagination.